What's up, y'all? This is Big E War TV, baby. Here with another thought-provoking question for the ladies. Ladies, I'm sitting here getting ready to watch the Nets go up against the Clippers. And I'm watching, uh, you know, tall, sexy, chocolate honey as she doing her interview with the white man before the um game start. And I'm noticed, you know, she's sitting there, nice, tall, slim, looking real chocolate and lovely with the straight above the knees and the arms exposed, looking real sexy and delicious. I want to know, do y'all think this fair and this right to ask a man, you know, to sit across from a, from a sexy chocolate woman or sexy woman period, half naked in the workplace? And be able to keep his cool. I know that, you know, as men, we supposed to keep our cool. And it's up to us brothers to keep your cool. But I want to know, do the ladies think that's fair? You know, if I came to work, you know, with, with one of my, you know, testicles out, you know, and, you know, I don't think that that will be right and to be fair to expect the ladies to, you know, be able to do their job and concentrate with one of my testicles it's showing out through my pants. Would that be fair, ladies? So, you know, we, we know about in the workplace. I'm mainly talking about in corporate America, up in them corporate office jobs where, you know, you're in your cubicle all day. And let me give you a scenario. Let's say it's warm. You know, you one of them sisters who, you know, you keep the body right. You've been in the gym working out all winter. So we know you want to show us that sexy body you got. And it might be a brother on a job that you feeling and you like. So, you, you know, you want to show him that, you know, you've been keeping it right and tight all winter just for him. Because you want him to take you home and work it out and bend you over the couch. But is it fair, ladies, that you come to work with the half mini skirt above your knees, come to work with that sexy tight, you know, sweater on with the, you know, cut off shoulders, and then, you know, you put on, I don't know what type of sexy cream or lotions y'all be using, but, you know, you make it your business that morning to go in there smelling, de looking delicious and smelling delicious. Is that fair to the brother? Is it fair? To, to ask a brother to concentrate on work and then when he may get distracted and want to try to, you know, hit on you and then you go to human resources and use that against the brother or do y'all just, you, you know what I think it is? You know, ladies, I think y'all y'all don't mind being hollered at. You don't mind the attention when it's coming from the man that you want to give you that sexual energy and that sexual tension. That's what this is about. This is about getting the sexual energy and attention from the man that you want. The man on the job that you attracted to. See, it ain't so much as that you don't want to get hit on. You want to get hit on by the one you want to get hit on. Ain't that right, ladies? So I, this is a question specifically, mainly for the ladies. I want to know, ladies, do y'all think it's fair to do that to a brother? To distract a brother at work with your tight spandex on and your tight mini skirts? You know, you know, I think y'all all need to conform and we need to just come into work with a strict dress code, a uniform code in every, just like, you know, I work for Parks and Recreations. We got a uniform code, you know, like the post office. They got a uniform code, like the UPS. They got a uniform code. Y'all need to start having uniform codes up in corporate America in those cubicles. You know, ladies shouldn't be allowed to come to work looking all sexy and delicious and then don't want a man to, uh, you know, push up on them and ask for some of that dessert. You know, brothers, we love dessert, baby. I like chocolate chip ice cream and, you know, chocolate chip cake and cheesecake. You know, you can't come to work, sweetheart, looking all cheesecakey and don't want a brother to take a slice of that cake. You know, we want a slice of the cake, baby. But see what it is. It ain't that you don't want a brother to have a slice of the cake. It's just the particular brother that you want to get a slice of cake too. Ain't that right, ladies? So I want the ladies to get back to Big E Raw TV on this and let me know. 
Ladies, do y'all think it's fair that y'all come to work looking all delicious and sexy and chocolatey, smelling all good, you know, and want a brother to behave himself and maintain? Especially